Hey guys, today we're gonna to be doing a haul, which is primarily my Sephora VIB sale purchases. I purchased some things online, I purchased some things in store while I was down in Houston, and I also picked up some other things while I was in Houston. I picked up some random things online that I wanted to show you, see if you'd want like a video on them. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump into what I purchased online at Sephora. So I think this happens to me every time I place an order during the VIB sale. I like add things to my cart and take them out and add and, and remove and add and remove so many times that I don't really remember what I ended up with. So this unboxing is going to be kind of a surprise for me too. I'm really curious what I ended up with. And I was on my way to Houston when um, the sale like kicked off basically. So I was on the plane, like placing the order just maniacally. So I, I really don't know what I ended up with. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Let's let's start with something that I actually mentioned that I was going to be getting. This is the Lord Jones High CBD Formula Body Lotion. I had mentioned that I had purchased the Lord Jones Bath Salts during the Beautylish gift card event, and many of you commented how much body lotion, the body oils from Laura Jones have helped you. So I thought I would give it a shot. My back is pretty much better, um, like it's healed or whatever. It's just not, like I can tell, it's just not all the way there. So I'm hoping this will help. This is, let's see, um, 50 mil bottles, 1.69 fluid ounces. And, oh, there's no prices on here. Anyway, I will have all the information down below in my description box, um, but let's open this up and see what the bottle looks like. So, you know what this looks like? It actually looks like deodorant, doesn't it? Looks like it's gonna be like a roll-on deodorant. Uh, but high CBD formula body lotion. There's the Lord Jones logo. It says directions for use, gently massage one or two pumps of lotion into the affected area. Allow lotion to fully absorb, repeat as necessary, do not apply to broken skin. This bottle contains 100 milligrams of CBD. So there's approximately two milligrams of CBD per pump. So this is what the pump looks like. And it looks like there's a little tab here. I'm just gonna pump a little bit out because I'm curious, excuse you, I'm curious what this smells like. Oh, it smells kind of like herbal, slight medicinal kind of smell. Like very, very light though. That's kind of nice actually. All right, so I will report back on how this works for me, but I'm really, really excited to give this a shot. Okay, I did end up getting this. This was definitely something that was like in and out of my cart at least like five times. This is the Givenchy Red Edition Eyeshadow Palette. It has 12 eyeshadows and it's like a limited edition holiday release for them. And I wasn't sure, and like I mentioned, I placed this order when I was on the plane. Um, I wasn't really sure about it. And then when I got to Houston and I was in the Sephora there, they actually had these palettes in store and it looked really pretty. It actually looks a lot prettier in person than it does online. Online, it kind of looked, I don't know, like a little washed out, almost like they took a picture of the palette and then turned down the saturation. So let me get it out of here and show it to you. So, wow, this packaging is beautiful. It's very, Asian. <laughs> it looks very Asian to me. And here is the palette. There's a lot of packaging for this. There's like a lot of dead space in here, which I'm not really sure about. They could have made these shadows maybe a little bit bigger, but it is presented very beautifully. I do like how their logo is the shadows in the middle there. Let me just go ahead and swatch a couple of things here. Definitely let me know if you guys want like a dedicated video to this palette. Let me do this like burgundy one. There's that burgundy color, oh pretty. And then I'll do this like taupey color over here. Nice, let's see how they swatch. Pretty. And all of the ones I picked actually have micro glitter in there. Let's see what different formulas we have here. It looks like there's two mattes in here. This one is a matte and then this color is a matte. And then the rest all look like some form of satin to like a glittery shade. Like this one, this gray color down here looks to be the most glittery. Well, very, very promising. And again, let me know if you guys want a dedicated video to that. I would love to do that. And then I picked up another thing from Givenchy. This is one of their La Rouge Night Noir. This is one of their uh, lipsticks and I was just very, very intrigued by them. They all seem to have a very deep, dark base to them. Um, so I picked up one because I wasn't sure about them and how they would perform. I'm also 
not very familiar with like Givenchy's like fragrance if the lipsticks have a very strong fragrance. So I got the color, oh wow. It's like gray printed on top of brown, so it's almost impossible to read. I think I got a color 03, I don't know. Um, so, so this is what the lipstick looks like. It's so cool. I don't know if these are limited edition. Again, I'll leave everything down below in the description box, like prices and whether or not they're limited edition, but it has this really cool like glitter effect case and to see if this glitter comes off it's pretty much on the case it doesn't like come off in your hand or anything so oh here we go it's 03 night in gold is the color this is what the shade looks like and so i think there's like six colors all together and i think it is supposed to go with this eyeshadow palette um so let me go ahead and swatch this and as i understand it i think they're all kind of sheer so that's what this looks like and that took a couple swipes so the fragrance is kind of like floral not my favorite but it is very very faint so that should be fine and actually i think most of my lipstick has worn off so i'm gonna try this on so the six colors i think one is actually like a black but it comes off kind of like a purple wine color then they have one i think maybe that has like a blue base anyway these just looked really interesting to me and you guys know i love gold so i picked the gold one there's like some gold micro glitters in there but i really don't think you can see it very well like you have to get up pretty close to me well that is the givenchy le rouge night noir and if you guys want me to do a dedicated video to this i will definitely throw this in there and kind of give you more of my thoughts on that one so oh next up we have some stuff from guerlain so as you guys know i picked up their golden land uh, meteorites holiday limited edition meteorites uh, from overstock because every time i saw it pop up in a retailer like sephora or where else was it? I think it was on one of the UK based sites. It was out of stock or it would be like on the site or, or gone from the site. Anyway, I couldn't seem to get my hands on it. So when I saw it on Overstock, I just decided to purchase it. But on the first day of the sale, um, the meteorites, the eyeshadow palette and the bronzer were available. So I went ahead and I picked up the eyeshadow palette and the bronzer. I don't know if they're still available on the US site. I get the feeling it's sold out but someone actually commented that it was available on the Canadian site. So I don't know if it's gonna come back into stock, hopefully, because I feel like it was in and out very, very quickly. But I was able to get my hands on the eyeshadow and the bronzer. And again, at the risk of sounding like a broken record, if you guys want a dedicated video to this Golden Land uh, holiday collection, mini collection from Guerlain, just let me know. I would love to do that. And, oh, how pretty. So here is the compact from Guerlain. It's gold toned. It's a little bit, it's a little bit light. It's a little bit tinny and opens up to a mirror, some applicators. And then I guess this is supposed to, I guess, be kind of like heart shaped these shadows. So we have 10 shadows in here. So it looks like we have one, two, three, four mattes and then six metallics. I want to say this one right here is kind of like a matte with micro glitters in there. Uh, but let me go ahead and swatch some of these. Of course, I went straight for like the olive green here and then I'll do this gold and then maybe this red up here. Ooh, wow. These feel really soft and they look extremely pigmented. So I'll swatch it right below. Ooh, wow. Right below the uh, Givenchy. Oh, okay. Wow, those are really impressive swatches now i have to admit when i saw this i wasn't quite sure if it was something i wanted it looked very again like very desaturated almost the way the givenchy one looked online this one is like a little bit more vibrant than i think it appears online but it's still not like in your face bright but those swatches i think look really really promising don't those look lovely so that's the golden land um, eyeshadow palette and then there's also this Golden Land Terracotta Bronzer, and usually their holiday bronzers are just a very gold kind of highlighter. So this is what this highlighter looks like, and this is like just like the same packaging as last holiday's collection, where this cap kind of pops off and then you have like a mirror on the inside. And yeah, this actually looks very similar to the other ones I have like this. Let me swatch that. 
Uh, this is actually much more yellow than the other ones. Let me swatch that down here. It's much more like gold gold, straight up yellow gold than the other ones. So if you guys want me to do like a dedicated video to this Golden Land collection from Guerlain, what I can do is like compare it to uh, the other ones that I have uh, if you're curious. So let me know, of course, down below in the comment section. Okay, so Patrick Ta came out with a bunch of like cream lip glosses and then some blushes. I had all, oh, and lip liners. I had it all in my cart and uh, a good friend of mine on Instagram, Mindy, another underscore MK is her Instagram handle. Definitely follow her if you're into swatches. She gets a lot of new product and she's always swatching stuff on her stories, on her feed. And it's just great information if you just wanna get an idea of the color or the quality of it. So her blush swatches for the Patrick Ta blushes were not impressive. So I thought, I'm not gonna order them. I'm just gonna go in store and kind of just like take a look at them. So when I was in Houston, uh, so I didn't place an order for them. And when I went in store to take a look at these blushes in Houston, they were not impressive at all. The deepest color that he has available, I don't know the names, but the deepest color that he has, that one was decent. Um, but I think it's because it was a, it, it's just a deep color. All of the other ones, like just barely showed up. I, I just thought the pigmentation was so bad. I was not a fan of them. If you guys pick them up and you like them, please let me know. Please let me know what you're doing. I didn't know if maybe just finger swashing it just wasn't right. They just weren't very impressive. So I ended up just purchasing one of the uh, lip creams online. So they're called uh, Silky Lip Cream. And this color is She's Unapologetic. So I think this is the lightest color of the bunch. And I really like the Patrick Ta lip glosses. So I was excited to see this. These are, wow, these are like a, like a liquid lipstick. Well, I'm gonna let that sit on my hand for a little bit and maybe before I sign off, we'll take a look and see if this has dried down completely. I don't think so. I think he would have probably called these a liquid lipstick. But Silky Lip Cream, I get the feeling this is not gonna dry down completely. But anyway, that is the color She's Unapologetic. And then the last thing in my order was this Melt Cosmetics blush. I think I was feeling a little sad that I wasn't ordering any of the Patrick Ta blushes, so I decided to get this one, which is one that I've been wanting to get, and it's called Nevermore Blush Light. Is that what it's, is that? Oh, Blush Light is the product, Nevermore is the color. So typical Melt packaging, kind of this matte black plastic. It's got a magnetic closure. Ooh, this is really pretty. Look at that blush. Look at that color, and it looks like it has a really beautiful sheen. And this looks pigmented. Ooh, wow. <gasps> Ooh, look how pretty that is. Oh, I'm excited for that. That is like a blush highlight hybrid for sure. Oh shoot, I'm such an idiot. I just wiped off the swatch. Hold on, let me put the Patrick Ta swatch on because I am curious <clears throat> how it dries down. Okay. So Patrick Ta swatch is back on. Let me show you some other things I purchased um, at Sephora um, in Houston. So I was in Houston with my good friend Natalie over at Flower Bomb 31, and she suggested I try this Estee Lauder Double Wear Radiant Concealer. So she pointed it out to me at first and I was like, it's just too heavy for me. I'm not a big fan or whatever. And she's like, no, no, these are new. This is the Radiant Concealer. And I was like, Oh, that sounds real promising. So I thought I'd give it a shot. Uh, I picked out color 1C, Light Cool. They had actually a really kind of like comprehensive shade range. They had 1C, 1N for neutral, and 1W. And I think for my under eyes, I like something a little bit more brightening. So I went with the Cool. So this is 1C. And you can see it's not even like that cool. I found this one basically to be the most neutral. The neutral and the warm, I found to be too warm. So let's give this one a swatch. Wow, that is a giant doe foot applicator. And here is one C. That's the cool. I felt like it was the most peachy, I guess. Maybe they meant for it to be more pink, but I thought it was the most peachy. And it definitely feels very creamy. It doesn't feel very drying. There's definitely a lot of coverage there. And I don't know that I would call it radiant. It's not like there's any like pearly sheen or anything, but 
definitely doesn't seem very matte. So maybe I'll use this in like a trying new makeup video. Maybe I'll do that. And then the last thing that I got at Sephora there was this Fenty Beauty set. And I threw out the box because it was just too bulky to travel with. So it was this set. It had this like kilowatt foil highlighter and then this lip gloss. So Natalie ended up getting the um, like gloss bomb set. I think it has like four or five gloss bombs in there. And I totally wanted it. I thought I was going to get it, but I realized there was one color in there that I already had, which is I think fussy. Yeah, I think fussy. And then the other colors I just wasn't that big of a fan of. This color I really liked and it wasn't part of the set. It was only part of this little gift set, these two things. And this one is called Sweet Mouth. That's not a good name. And I was wearing this in Houston and I really, really like it. So there is Sweet Mouth. It's just this really light, sheer, kind of like baby pink color. It's just, it's very, very pretty. So that is Sweet Mouth. And then this kilowatt highlighter is Sandcastle. So this is already existing and it's in that um, duo with the Mojito, Mojito Mint or just Mojito. But I love this color. Isn't that fantastic? Look at how beautiful that is. So not exactly a highlighter for me. It's kind of like this cool taupey brown, but it is such a beautiful eyeshadow. Isn't that incredible? so creamy. So I was glad I saw all of that in store because I think if I just ordered it online, I would have just gone ahead and ordered the gloss set and probably been a little bit disappointed. So I'm glad I saw it all in store and ended up with this little set. Okay, the Patrick Ta is still there and definitely not transfer proof. It's kind of tacky. Yeah, it's kind of tacky, definitely not transfer proof. So I'll probably incorporate that into like a trying new makeup video along with this concealer. So those are all the things that I got at Sephora. So while I was down in Houston, um, we were walking around the mall. They have a gigantic mall there, the Galleria. It's huge. So I wandered into the Neiman Marcus and I ended up getting some loose powder from Lancome. I've been eyeing this powder for a really long time, but they have all of these different shades and I couldn't tell from the descriptions or whatever. Anyway, I've been waiting to kind of like take a look at it in person. And I feel like every time I'm near a Lancome canter, I just forget, I totally forget. So Natalie, again, Flower Bomb 31, she was like, oh, I really, really love this powder. And I was like, oh my God, the Lancome powder. I really wanna get some. So I ended up getting Absolute Pearl and Absolute Pesh. So Absolute, I, I already can't remember. One has like a sheen to it and I think will work better as like a finishing powder. I think it's Pesh. So this is the packaging. It's actually really beautiful. I love this like frosted plastic on the bottom and then there's like this gold tone top. It has like a sifter top up here. Yeah, so this one is absolute Pesh and it has like this beautiful like satin sheen to it. So I thought I would use this as a finishing powder and in store, I feel like when I was playing with the tester, I could see more micro glitters in there. I don't see it in this. Oh, I do. I do. I see some of the micro glitters now. So there's some micro glitters in here, which I wasn't sure about, but I felt like when I kind of kept buffing it in, the micro glitters kind of dispersed and you were left with this really pretty pearly sheen. So I'm excited to give this a shot. I've been wanting to for a very, very long time. And again, that's Absolute Pesh. And then Absolute Pearl, I think is one that is like flatter. It doesn't have quite as strong of a sheen. And it's so funny, this Absolute Pearl color looks so much peachier than the Absolute Pesh. And the Absolute Pesh looks very kind of like golden wheat colored. So the naming is a little bit weird. And I think that's why I don't know, I was held off ordering it online because it was just kind of confusing. Yeah, this is the flat matte one. So this is gonna be great for setting. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's just a hint of peachiness there. Let me see if I can lay it on real thick here. So there was one that was like a little bit uh, pinker and I thought that that pink powder made me look a little bit ashy. So the very helpful sales associate at that counter and I decided that this one would be better, that it just kind of, it brightened up my face, but it didn't make me look chalky. So I'm really excited to try these powders out. And yeah, I think I'm kind of gathering a whole trying new makeup video here. So definitely keep an eye out for that. And then two last things that I purchased, um, two new La Rouge Duo Ultra Tenue from Chanel. <laughs> you guys know how much I love these, but they came out with all of these intense colors. And the only two that I like were Intense Cherry and Intense Blueberry. 
and let's do some swatches of these. So Intense Blueberry looks like this. They actually look very similar in the tube, but let's swatch this because they are a little bit different. So there is Intense Blueberry, and you can see that it has like a little bit of a purpley kind of tinge there. And then here is Intense Cherry, so it's a little bit deeper. Oh no, actually the Intense Cherry is, a, is more like purpley than the Blueberry, but both are pretty cool in tone. Neither of them actually is very brown based at all. But I'm very excited for these. You guys know how much I love this formula, how comfortable it is, how extremely, extremely long lasting it is. It's just great. They're absolutely wonderful. So I'm so excited that they had these in stock because I feel like we were at a different department store and they weren't in stock. Anyway, I'm glad I got my hands on them and I will definitely be incorporating this as well into like a trying new makeup. And then last but not least, I don't know what came over me. So. I purchased a bunch of stuff from Lorac. Now, Lorac is a brand that has never really caught my eye for no reason. Their eyeshadow palettes look nice, but I've just never really pulled the trigger on them. And Risa of Risa Does Makeup, she's a good friend of mine here in Vegas, as you guys know. And she loves the Lorac um, eyeshadow. She really likes the formula. She always kind of like brings them up when she's talking about eyeshadow formulas that she really enjoys. And so that was always kind of in the back of my head. And then I watched a, a YouTuber do like a PR unboxing. Who was it? I think it was Kelly Strack. She's a blonde. I think it was Kelly. So it was on her channel where she did a PR unboxing and unboxed some of these things from Lorac. And I was like, what are those? They just looked really interesting. So I went onto the site and they have done basically like a collaboration with Rachel Zoe. So this is one of the gloss sets. And you guys can imagine how that appealed to me. And I love animal print. I love the colors in here. So I got this lip gloss set. I got three of these like mini palettes. So cute. And then I got this face and body diamond dust highlighter. So let's start with this highlighter. I really couldn't resist the packaging. I, you know, you guys know I'm a sucker for packaging. Look, it's zebra. <laughs> and this is gigantic. I mean, it is meant to be face and body. And let's see, this is actually like a really lovely weight. Oh, and it's a magnetic closure. It has this like gold button here that you just lift up. And oh, wow, this looks very, very uh, glittery. Oh, dear. Oh, wow, isn't that pretty? Do you know what this reminds me of? I was just talking about the single shadow from Chanel from their fall 2019 collection. It's the one that comes in the white packaging. I think it's called Carte Blanche. And it has a very similar effect to this. I think that one's a little bit more icy, but it's very, very similar to this. Isn't that pretty? I don't know that I'd want this all over my body, but I would definitely use this as an eyeshadow. This is like the world's biggest eyeshadow, but that is very, very pretty, like a really nice like topper. I think I would also like, if I wanted a little bit more sparkle, I would use this as like a highlighter topper. I think by itself, maybe it's a little bit too white for my skin tone, but as like a topper to another highlighter, that would be really nice. Huh. So that is the Face and Body Diamond Dust from Lorac. And then let me show you these mini palettes. All right, so this first one is Golden Eyes. So again, another Rachel Zoe collaboration. Um, I guess they're calling this whole collaboration Hollywood Glamour. Um, so this is the Golden Eyes mini palette, and this is what it looks like. Again, we've got the zebra going on, and this is just cardboard packaging. Oh my God, these are really cute. Look at that. Look at those shades. So it has the shade names on a plastic overlay. There's a teeny tiny mirror up there. It closes magnetically, and all these shades are like a satin or a glitter. Oh wow, they're really creamy. Oh wow. That press glitter, holy glitter, Batman. That's pretty incredible. Oh, so there's the top row. Wow. Okay, I can definitely see what Risa is talking about. My goodness. Wow, that is really some creamy pigmented shadows. Wow. Look at those. This is really beautiful. So that's the golden eyes. And then I got the one that's called Black Tie. So this is the packaging for the Black Tie. It has like 
leopard print on there. Oh wow, this one has a lot more glitter down there. These two look like pressed glitters. So this green is the same as the other mini palette that I just swatched. Yeah, so that's the first row of this black tie one. And then let's do this bottom row. This is such an interesting shade. Oh my God. And then these two, oh yeah, these two are like pressed glitters. So I'm just gonna be careful with these. Let me do this over here. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. For someone who doesn't use glitter a lot, I have all of a sudden come into a lot of glitter eyeshadows. <laughs> this on top of the Tati palette is gonna keep me very, very, very eyeball deep in glitter. Wow, that is beautiful. So that is the Black Tie mini palette. And then I got this one that's Diamonds and Pearls. I guess this isn't a Rachel Zoe collaboration. I don't know. It doesn't have her name on it, but it looks like it's part of their holiday line. So it looks like there's some repeats in these palettes. Like this one is just like um, the black blue one from the black tie one. So these are the five from this Diamonds and Pearls mini palette. Wow, these are a lot of fun. I'm excited I got these and I think they were, $15 each. Again, I'll leave everything down below in the description box, but I just think they're so cute. For size comparison, let me just hold it up. I don't know, I have this Dior blush. So this is a Dior blush, so the blush is a little bit bigger than this mini palette. But I think this is such a great idea because this is obviously geared towards, you know, someone maybe who's going to like a holiday party or a party, flat out party, it doesn't have to be a holiday party. So this is perfect to like throw into your purse, especially if you have like a little party clutch or something. These are so great. All right, and then here is the lip gloss, uh, Diamond Disco Gloss Trio that I got. Let me open this up so I can swatch these colors for you. Oh, these are so cute. They're like really mini. All right, so let's start with this white one. It's called Diamond Shine. So there's like little, little like micro glitters in there but it's actually kind of subdued it's more subdued than i thought it was going to be and then next we have lumiere Ooh, this is pretty this is like a pretty gold topper so there's little micro glitters in here as well but i like how these aren't like overly wet looking they just have like a nice kind of like glossy sheen to them i think that's my favorite finish for a lip gloss it's not too wet it just has that like it's almost like a dulled satin sheen. And then last but, whoa, whoa. And last but not least, we have Moon Dust. Ooh, again, it's subtle, but there is that lip gloss. That's really, really pretty. You can just see like the blue micro glitters in there. All right, well, that is it for this haul. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. So let me know what you think down below in the comment section. Please let me know what you would like to see dedicated videos for and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. Oh my God, I thought we weren't filming. <laughs>